Rebecca from Rain Country. God is good all the time. Well, I'm out here in my greenhouse and thought I'd just do a quick update on some of the gardening things going on. Again, I'm just doing little bits and pieces here and there. And I just wanted to show you mostly what's going on in the greenhouse because you might find some of this a little bit <laughs> interesting. So um, these are my tomatoes, how they're coming along right now. Today is May 31st. I still have some in pots because I'm planning on moving some more outside. Obviously in our area they do best in the greenhouse. Um, but uh, anyway, so if you've been following me for some time you already know this, but if you're a new subscriber you might not know how I started my strawberry, or excuse me, how I started my tomato plants and that is last year I got this great idea <laughs> to, I'm always experimenting people. You know, I try, I watch how things are growing in nature and I decided, well, how do tomatoes grow in the wild if they were to grow wild? Tomatoes fall to the ground, the seed gets in the soil, those come back as fresh tomato plants. In fact, right over here, that's what's going on right there. That's just a cluster of tomato plants from a tomato that dropped last year in that same area. <clears throat> um, so what I did was I cut slices of tomatoes and I stuck them in little pots of dirt. And I shared this before, and it was like right after I did that, uh, Stacy from Off Grid with Doug and Stacy did a video of doing the very same thing, and I was like, no way. <laughs> and it was so cool, and I was so glad that she did that because, um, and I will also link to that video. Um, so w watch for that in the up in the corner there in the cards. Anyway, um, you know, Stacy's video that is, but so. I was so excited when she was talking about that because I'm like, okay, so would that, so now I know it's gonna work. So I put them in little in little four inch pots like this, the tomato slices, and then just let them over winter. And then in the um, late winter, early early spring, I stuck those little pots into cool styrofoam coolers here in the greenhouse and then covered them with Lexan, and they. Um, they took off. They just took off in there and gave me tons of tomato plants. So many I don't even know what to do with them. And what to do with them all because I don't have space for them all. But I'd rather have too many than not enough. So anyway, I've got a bunch planted here. I've got all those in pots. I've stuck some outside. And some of the ones outside aren't doing great. But we'll see what happens as the weather keeps warming up. Anyway, over here I've got the Isis candy tomato. Or, yeah, can't. Isis candy cherry tomatoes. I tried growing these last year and I didn't get, I mean, the plants just died on me. They didn't do well at all. And these already look a lot healthier. Now these I started from seed packet, you know, seeds from a packet. <clears throat> and that's Mr. Rain on his motor, so getting his motorcycle out of the rain. <laughs> and then my cucumbers are starting to come up. Um, they, it seems like it takes forever here for the cucumbers to get going. But once the weather gets hot, these just explode and they will climb up these, uh, I, this is a branch from the apple tree when I pruned it last year and it actually works pretty good as a trellis. I thought I'd give it a try. There's another one here. And then on this side I have my blueberry cherry tomatoes. <sighs> and these, are, I decided to go ahead and um, start some more tomatillo plants just because I wasn't sure how good the ones I started from seed earlier were going to do. Um, and I think they're doing fine. I planted a bunch outside in the main garden. I'll probably get to those in another video. Um, these are some loofahs that I don't know what to do with because I already got enough loofah plants planted out in the main garden. Um, and another, that'll be for another video. Some lettuces, I've been, you can see I've been um, harvesting on these. We've been eating lots of salad already just off the few lettuce plants that I have growing. And that one I need to prune back and sharing some of the lettuce with the chickens. Um, oh, and in here is some ashwagandha. I have some more up on this here that looks like they're doing really good. I've already planted some out in the main garden and they're doing fine. The slugs have left them alone, thankfully. Cannot believe it. And now I wanna show you what else is going on in my greenhouse. Well, because today it keeps kind of trying to rain off and on, off and on, and that's why Mr. Rain was just moving his motorcycle, um, I am hanging my laundry in the greenhouse. It's a little too warm to have a fire in the house, but um, obviously too wet to hang the clothes outside. And being that it's warmer in the greenhouse, I've got a fan over here 
hooked up to solar power, circulating air in here. Um, that so that will um, the clothes should dry pretty quick in here. This is typically what I do. Um, that's why I have I have these sticks across here is for hanging pots and also for hanging um, hanging my laundry. <laughs> so um, yeah, and then I have like this towel hung here and then some jeans over there. Um, it does take longer in here than it does in the house with the fire going, but it will they'll still it's still a good place for me to dry them without having to run the electric dryer. Okay, and then in my dehydrator today, I'm starting, this isn't new to me, but new for this year, is I'm starting to dehydrate my strawberry leaves. And if you have a steamant account or you've checked it out, um, we do have we do have a steamant set up. And now I'm going to be start um, doing uh, blogs and photo type posts. And so I've got one of those going on there about my strawberry leaves and what I use them for. And then down here, I've also got catnip, lemon balm, and, um, and borage leaves drying as well. So, yeah, strawberry leaves, really good for you. Check it out. Just make sure if you're going to dehydrate them, you fully, fully dehydrate them. You only eat them fully raw or fully dehydrated. Nothing in between. Okay, I'm going to take you outside the greenhouse and show you a couple more things. Okay, so out here, you see my, my other, these aren't the strawberries I harvested the leaves from. The, the leaves I harvested from, from, the, from the ones on the south side of the house, they get huge leaves. Um, anyway, this is the only area outside so far that I found that I can plant my tomatoes where they seem to do okay. I've, I've only really grown them here one other year, and they did pretty decent. And compared to the ones I planted out in the main garden, these ones look wonderful. So um, this might be my outdoor tomato area. I'm still going to keep trying some in the main garden to see if I can find a way to get them to really grow out there. Because um, I need the room in the greenhouse for other things as well. But um, And then while I'm out here, I'll show you my finished heavy-duty trellis that Mr. Rain finished up for me for the continuation of the grapevines that come from over there because they do go all around the deck as you've seen from the other side and they're coming along but the amber grapes which is on this side these are the amber grapes they wanted to keep extending out this way and so I needed a new trellis for them and sorry I got a raindrop on the camera screen hang on okay anyway so um but there was just kind of a little temporary rinky-dink trellis here before that it was just something that Miss Rain had thrown together real quick out of just some scraps and the grapevines had got a hold of it and just totally were breaking it down and so I needed something new because I did like these growing right here I did thin them back quite a bit this um, otherwise it would be a lot thicker but uh, I noticed that the grapes will get a lot bigger here than anywhere else and you can see I've got grapes coming on I've got little clusters of grapes all over the place so I should should get a pretty decent harvest again this year okay well I think that's about it for today's garden update video there's still so much more garden updating I have to do eventually I will show you my west side herb garden which is just looking really nice and then my front garden and the changes I did out there the new area that I expanded I decided to go with something totally different than what I was originally going to do and I'll get to that so anyway there you have it there's my update for today thanks for watching take care and God bless